Hello, Derek Jones here again with more deep sea black blobs fished up from right off Nova Scotia. Here you can see the worm or Crinoid like tentacle sticking out of the broad side of that one. I still don't know what these blobs are. They all don't have a clue. I think it's more of them I found. Animals of some type living inside. Probably a colony, but as you can see, they're like broken tubular but obviously broken from being trawled from great depth probably 500 meters or more and this one a piece of blob obviously broken and started to decompose and there's a smell Smells a little bit like sewage. And you can see like rust attached. Rust. It was attached to a shipwreck or something. We'd really like to see some video of it in the wild. It or whatever it is. Things to come, I'm sure. And here is a piece of blob that's been dried. Dried just like a potato chip. So it dries completely. Write it on a newspaper. So what these creatures are, I still don't know. Okay, goodbye. So I'm taking this poopsicle blob and I'll dry it. And it should come out paper thin like this other piece of poopsicle that I've dried. You say people, we're talking 500 meters deep here off, off of Nova Scotia where these poopsicles are coming from. There's another broken piece here. Jeez, probably that's why so many fish there to start with. Here we have another blob or or like a vent of a sewage based bacterial mat on the bottom off Nova Scotia. And I believe the openings here is where the methane gas leaks out to these like volcanoes of this sewage based bacterial mat and then somehow the bacteria live inside of this 
to form this vent. And there's like worms growing inside. There is life growing inside of these poopsicles, like I now call them. So there's your habit. Genuine poopsicle from deep sea Nova Scotia. Here's that same blob after it's been dried a few days. You can see the worms, the baby worms that's growing inside of this. This bacterial mat that forms some kind of a vent, mini volcano. And you can see the growth, the growth rings. probably months maybe weeks of growth there you can see where it was torn from its larger mat lights a feather but yep yeah. Some kind of bacterial vent growing off the coast of Nova Scotia. And I believe it's based on a pollution that is accumulating on the bottom. But yeah, really don't know for sure. Well, here is the poopsicle that I've dried. It'll probably dry out even more. It'll probably even shrink up even more as it dries out further. You can see the worms in it. The white specks inside were silver hake scales from being in the same trawl for a few hours, dragged around. piece starting to harden up quite so here's the severely damaged poopsicle that I got the other day it's not completely dried yet and the some of them being damaged by trawlers seem to decompose and when they decompose they smell exactly like sewage. But, mystery solved. The mysterious black blobs are actually poopsicles from the same bacteria that gives us rusticles on the wreck of the Titanic or whatever. Lives with forms a symbiotic relationship with the sewage sludge that's laying on the bottom of Nova Scotia and it's alive it grows just like the rusticles so there you have it a new species poopsicles Keep flushing to give the fish off Nova Scotia something to eat. Thank you.